Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Yes, we're recording now. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Nice. Okay, cool. So, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is David Olani Pekun. I'm the host and creator of Less Talk Creatives. I set up this podcast to connect with uh, creative individuals uh, through conversation uh, throughout the globe. Uh, and our special guest today is uh, Melanie. Melanie. So, Melanie, um, if you'd like to introduce yourself to everyone, let. Hi, Hi I'm Melanie De Jong. I'm 44 years old. I grew up in a small village uh, in Holland, the Netherlands, and I started drawing at an early age. My uh, father's side of the family is very artistic. My grandfather, uncle, and father could draw very good. I learned to draw mostly by myself, and sometimes my father gave me some tips. And I rem remember my mom told me that no paper was safe in our house. Me and my older brother would draw everything, the newspapers, the TV guide. But I was not so really good in school because I was a dreamer. And all I could think of was drawing, painting or being creative. And I wanted to be a fashion illustrator as long as I can remember. And I started fashion school when I was 17, but I didn't finish it. I chose another direction and learned to be an activity counselor. I worked at daycare with children and helped children uh, provide uh, activities. But drawing and painting was still something I loved doing. And after th 10 years of working there, I went to fashion school at an older age and at the Artemis Academy in Amsterdam. And when I started there, I knew I did, it, I did the right thing. And that's my story. <laughs> And then I become an illustrator, uh, so. Uh, nice. Uh, I discovered your work uh, on Instagram uh, through uh, through Feeder Worldwide. Yeah. So, they, yeah, they feature a lot of uh, fashion illustra uh, illustrators. So, yeah, that's where I discovered your work. Oh, that's So, how did, you, how, how did you team up with those guys? Um, because of the uh, situation we are all in because of the virus um, a lot of uh, instagram accounts or designers or like fida um, are stimulating um, or for, are providing uh, space for artists or illustrators to show their work and you can yeah um, sign in for something or i don't know the name for it but um, i submitted my drawing and then they post it on their yeah. website. So then I knew oh, it was nice. good. <laughs> yeah. nice. They really liked it. So yeah, also um, Drawn a Dot is also um, um, providing people like me to um, draw anything you like from the um, fashion um, collections of 2020. And then yeah. you have to uh, send your uh, work in and then they post it on their website, yeah. Okay, okay, cool, cool. So um, how has this uh, lockdown affected you? Um, I learned from the lockdown that I'm more creative and that you can make um, more with less. And I'm thinking more about why I started illustrating. That's to make something that puts a smile on someone's face, mostly. And I want to tell a story with my illustrations. I, I drew different kind of things, mostly. And sometimes it's really realistic. And sometimes I, I can put my own imagination more in it and tell a story with my, my fashion uh, illustration style. I, like, I prefer a little bit drama into it. I like old fashion, so I like the 20s and 30s mostly. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you can see that style. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, what medium do you, do you like to use? For um, oh, my for inspiration? Illustration, so. uh, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, to actually produce your artwork, so to produce the illustrations, that's what I meant. 
Um, I don't really understand <laughs> your question. You, you mean how uh, no I problem. get... Like, uh, I, I, I mean, what I mean is uh, what medium in terms of, do you use watercolor, oil paint, acrylic? Oh, that's... Um, like all I, the I prefer types. watercolor, yeah. Mm -hmm. Aquarel, you also use a term like that. Um, I use mm -hmm. a lot of things, um, markers, um, paint. Um, yeah, I mostly use everything, pencils. And I prefer um, drawing um, instead of digital work. Um, I, can, I can also uh, draw digital, but I think it's an old thing you, you always can rely on. And it's more realistic. So that's why I draw mostly uh, with pencils and watercolor. Mm -hmm. And uh, what drew you to fashion illustration? Can you can you say it again? Oh, I'll say that again. So, why fashion illustration? Why fashion illustration? Yeah, fashion has uh, always been a part of me. I was looking at a young age to the beautiful fashion uh, covers that my my grandma had and the luxury um, fashion magazines. And I dreamt of being an illustrator, um, I think at the age of six. And I loved Hollywood movies and the, yeah, the, the dancing and the singing. And my grandma was always talking about fashion. And yeah, I think that's formed me when I was young. And yeah, yeah. Okay. And a lot yeah. of imagination, of course. <laughs> so, um, so were there any you inspired by other artists? Yeah, I, I, you, um, mostly the designers I love, like Alexander McQueen. I like his drama for um, creating um, his fabrics and the way he presented it. He is sadly gone, but um, yeah, also the, um, the illustrations from the past, like in the, the old folk covers, I like the illustrations from the, the drawn covers. And I get a lot of inspiration from yeah, social media, like um, the designers that post a lot of their fashion collections. And, and sometimes it's, it's just a picture and that moves me, like um, with emotion in it. It has to be some kind of emotion in it, like how the hands are or the face looks. Yeah, I love it bit of drama <laughs> and melancholic uh, style. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, what advice would you give to any young artist that wants to get into fashion illustration? Mm, be yourself, be um, um, stay close to your own identity don't let anyone tell you to be different or to change your style because it's your imagination and only you can create something and of course when you work for a company or you have to make something um, different than your style you you can change that but it's sort of creating your own handwriting and then people always see, oh, that's, that's her, or, yeah, that's my advice. And, and never give up, because I, um, I was told when I was very young that drawing was not an, a job. So, but I, I kept on going and believe in myself. So never let someone tell you not, that it's not possible. 
there's mm. always a way to find uh, yeah to get things done in your way that's, that's my advice and don't mm. be don't be um shy just draw as much as you can and post it and yeah and for me um a medium like uh, instagram was very um good for me because i was very shy and um yeah you get a lot of positive reactions from people all over the world and it's it's so overwhelming the last week also i got so much love and and lovely messages from everyone and that's that gives you a, a good energy and that's yeah. um that's my advice yeah 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 i think it's um yeah it's very important i think to just try and put yourself out there mm -hmm. uh, for me like uh, i started this podcast for the same reason just to put myself out there i'm not media trained at all I just appreciate art, to be totally honest. Um, and I thought this would be a good way, This pod, I thought this podcast would be a good way just to engage with other creative people and create something that's inspirational and educational for people watching. So that's the key agenda for me, um, setting up all these different podcasts. So yeah, it's good to hear. It's good to hear from artists such as yourself um, to mm -hmm. share, you know, your success and your story, I think it's very important, and you know, it's inspirational for me to actually hear that as well. So, you know, I admire that, and I appreciate that a lot, actually. So, yeah. thank you. Uh, so, um, are you working on any current projects at the moment? And not really at the moment. I mostly um, uh, do free work now and sometimes making postcards or graphic designs or logos. But it's quiet now, yeah. but it's okay. And it gives me the, um, more space to think about other things because I'm not only good on paper, but I also um, good with fabric also. Um, and I, I'm on... Um, I make old lace, like on the Dutch way, that actually from Belgium, and mm. it's called um, uh, yeah. You you, you use um, old techniques with wooden little wooden things, and you <laughs> weave like the the lace, and it, it's so nice to do that. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm good at at more uh, more things than only drawing, but. Sometimes it's difficult to choose one thing, but now in this time, um, it gives more space to think maybe I can, um, yeah, uh, I can use that also in my work. So combining the more designing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, um, the, a lot of the artists I've spoken with a lot of them tend to be multifaceted. So they have multiple talents. They mm -hmm. do multiple things. Uh, and I think it's highly beneficial, as you said before, it lends to each other. You can draw from this skill and apply it to the other medium. So the line is really bad. Things, I... You can both, so, so you can both, so I think it's very important to be multifaceted as an artist to yeah. explore. It just opens your mind up, and I think it you can. It just opens your mind up a bit more. I think just to try different things. So yeah, I think it's a good thing to have, you know, to have different skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Um... Yeah. Do you know? Do you want to know uh, what um, books I um, would help me to? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what books are you reading? Yeah. Um, I I use the Art Inc. by Lisa Gongdon, and How to Be an Illustrator by Del Reese, and Don't Read This Book. Time Management for Creative People by Donald Rose. And that last one is really funny because creative people are not so good at 
um, man time management. Like you're always <laughs> wanting to put yeah. things to it, or it's never enough. Or yeah. and it's really funny to read. Um, this mm-hmm. was uh, was written by an artist too, so it's mm-hmm. good in giving you tips how to be more um, on time with things. And yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah, you can empathize uh, with that. So, um, have you have you been watching any movies or TV shows during this period? Um, no, I can remember one uh, documentary that uh, really um, I was moved by, and it was a um, McQueen documentary in 2018. Mm. Um, I watched it in the theater, and it was amazed to see the life and the career of fashion designer Alexander McQueen. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that that's really a good one to watch. Yeah, uh, Alexandra McQueen, super talented, and I think yeah. he kind of paved the way for kind of um, dramatic uh, walks. Uh, I I call it performance art pieces, you know, within mm-hmm. uh, the cat walks. So I think he was one of the first to really add a high level of production uh, within yeah. the cat walks. You know, even if you're not massive interested in fashion you can appreciate uh, the artistry that goes different types of set pieces um so uh yeah yeah very important um, figure in art not just fashion in my opinion so yeah yeah, yeah and it's also um in this time it's also good to watch it because it's also gives um um it tells you that that we are living in a fast life and fast fashion, and because of the situation we are now in, I think it's better to um, live a lot slower and uh, maybe think about um, the fastness in life and really focus on what's important. Um, that's not always uh, to have big things or to buy a lot but i think you are for me i'm more appreciating the smaller things yeah yeah definitely i agree with that 110 percent yeah it's good to just sit down and have a little reset you know so regardless of this situation with the lockdown i think it's good to time to at least think you know and just appreciate just to be totally honest you know so um you know often you know we live in a hectic world a hectic society and some people are often on autopilot you know they're just moving they're just operating you know but i think it's um highly beneficial right mentally physically you know for health for your health for your well-being just to sit down and I think there's nothing wrong with that. Doing absolutely nothing. Sometimes, do you not know this? So, so uh, um, but yeah, like there's loads of benefits that can be taken from this situation with the lockdown. You know, so yeah. Uh, any words of wisdom for anyone out there, perhaps that's struggling? Uh, with this situation with the lockdown, you mean in uh, providing yourself a salary, or uh, like when you're uh, out of jobs, or in, in any way, any anything you feel that could be beneficial, that can help anyone. Maybe something yeah. you've done that. Um, for myself, uh, as a um, creative person, I um, always uh, think of another solution to yeah, um, think otherwise. So don't really focus on what's not going good in your life or at the moment, but try to find a creative way to, um, to express yourself in another way. So, um, yeah. Uh, what I said earlier, uh, stop, um, believe in yourself and, and don't stop when it's 
not going the right way because there is always someone or yeah who will see your work and think oh wow because yeah art is not always appreciated by everyone sometimes someone doesn't like it but it doesn't mean the whole world doesn't like it It, and yeah you have to be patient I think patience is also a good thing and um, believe in yourself and keep on drawing as much as you can and yeah, you will you will eventually um, be much better because a lot of practice is is also very good, and and try to use other um, things to make it more excited or um, yeah more bright. Okay. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Okay. Well, Melanie, thanks very much for your time. I appreciate this, and um, I'll send you a Thank link. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. I'll send you a link to this video once it's all edited and up on YouTube. So yeah, this will be the MP3 uh, video. Uh, so yeah, th thanks again for your time, Melanie. Yeah. Thank you too um, for the opportunity. And, uh, you're welcome and uh, enjoy enjoy the rest of your week. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 Take care.